have already died, they are dead. If, of course, we didn't intercept them, the possibility of more of them dying is high. The Ministry of the Nigerian Customs Service has signaled due to the convention or uh, uh, the illicit trade in endangered species. Um, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, once again, I say welcome to Seme uh, Krake Joint Border uh, Command, uh, Nigerian Customs Service. Uh, what you have in front of you here is a recent seizure of birds, gray, African gray parrots, and other species of parrots, and a hawk that has been um, seriously cannibalized. That is not cannibalized, but they, they defeathered the hawk and making it impossible for the hawk to fly. Um, these animals were intercepted by our officers at about um, 4 a.m. this morning. Uh, we got the intelligence that um, uh, they were being conveyed in a luxurious uh, bus all the way from Kaduna to Lagos with the intention to take them out of the country uh, to sell. Uh, as you, are, you may be aware, this is an illicit trade. They trade in endangered species of animals, even fauna, flora and fauna. The African grey parrots and parrots in general are the most endangered birds that we have in the world today because of their unusually high demand. They are valued outside this country and we have individuals that are ready to go through a lot of risk to smuggle these birds. As you can see, we have over six, there are 62 birds in all. Out of 62 birds that are kept in these small cages, transported over very long distances, the chances of a lot of them dying is very high. That is why you have a fatality rate. There are six dead birds there. 10% of the birds that were conveyed in these small um, cages have already died. They are dead. If, of course, we didn't intercept them, the possibility of more of them dying is high. And we are talking about animals that are already going extinct because of the way they are traded, both in the, 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 within our country and outside our borders. Part of the responsibility of the Nigerian Customs Service as signatories to the Convention uh, uh, on the Illicit Trade in Endangered Species is to ensure that trade like this does not continue. And we are, you know, hell-bent in seeing that things of this nature are checkmated. We already have two defendants in our custody, and the normal procedure for activating seizures of this nature, especially with special regard to how these defendants will be treated, is already in place. As you see also, we have with us the uh, uh, controller for the NAQS, the Nigerian Agriculture and Quarantine Services, uh, part of their responsibility and the kind of partnership we have with them is to see that items of this nature, when they are seized, are handed over to them for temporary safekeeping because they are live animals and they need to be nurtured. So I think in association with the National Park um, uh, agency, these animals will eventually be released into the national park where those of them that are sick or somehow have been hurt during the course of this journey will be rehabilitated. The hawk is in the box. The hawk is a very powerful bird, but as it is now, it cannot survive in the wild because of the damage that was, you know, done to it in the course of this journey. Of course, the six birds are already dead. There's nothing that can be done to it. In this country, we have to pay special attention to issues of this nature. These creatures are very important for the ecosystem. We're talking about an ecosystem that needs every species to survive. And if we don't pay particular attention to the survival of these species and stop the illicit trade in them, then we are going to put ourselves in a very difficult uh, situation. We are all uh, witnesses to the incidence of climate change and how our neglect of the environment is causing a lot of things to happen. Things that we're not used to, global warming, earthquakes, and all sorts of things. These are our present reality. 
And if we don't address the issue of the illicit trade in endangered species, along the line, we begin to see the consequence of not paying attention to issues of this nature. Good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen, the controllers. Huh? Uh, on behalf of Nigeria Cultural Quarantine Service, uh, I want to uh, thank you for this uh, synergy that has always been existing between NAQS and men and officers of Nigerian Coast and Service Semi Command. Indeed, it's a remarkable at achievement for us to see this type of beds because if you allow this thing to continue, one day you will find out that there are no parrots, it's an endangered species. So, my controller, my controller general said, I should thank you, thank the management and staff of a of the Coastal Service for a job well done. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you so much. Uh -huh. Thank you. Uh -huh. thank you.